Okay, so this is how to disassemble, assemble and adjust the pitch on a right hand Aperture A propeller. So to take it apart, it's pretty simple. You just take out these six socket headed cap screws here. And all being well, if you give the blades a jiggle, you'll be able to pull the back cap off. You'll be able to see that the three blades will come out and they're all numbered in their journals. The number stamped on the blade and on the body. Then you can pull the hub and the pinion out or the crown gear. And you can see this one set up on right hand zero, being that the single dot is lined up with the single dot. And inside the body here, you'll be able to see that there's an R and an L stamped on this stop here. For a right hand, you need to take this R on the hub and make sure it lines up with this R in the body. You need to set your pitch by setting the position of the pinion on the hub. So if you are say a plus six, you count six blinds in a clockwise direction for a right hand propeller. Minus six is six spines in the anti-clockwise direction. Then to assemble it, you put the hub in the body, spin it so that that R is against the R in the body, locked in that position. Then we have a look at the position of the blades next to the body and make sure we're putting them back in the right spot. So number two goes in number two. For a right hand, there'll be an R and a dot stamped on the blade. The dot comes into the vertical plane. R dot vertical plane. The key thing is if your R and dot have been ground off, the straight edge is the leading edge of the prop, the round edge is the trailing edge, and in this datum position it shouldn't be flat like that, it should be one tooth over into a pitched position. Then there's a datum on the side of the body, two halves. We can put in one screw. And we should be able to turn the propeller from forward to reverse. We should also be able to put it in the feather position before we put the six screws in. And you can see easily that one of the blades isn't out by a tooth. If it was, it would be way out by about 25 degrees and you'd see it straight away. And you put away the other six socket-headed cap screws. And if you're installing, you pull out this grub screw here, screw in a grease nipple and pump it full of grease. Perfect. Thank you.